cattle producers everywhere have to constantly guard against bovine respiratory disease, the leading cause of economic losses in the beef industry. The lungs of cattle are very prone to infection. Within hours, bovine respiratory disease, BRD for short, can cause irreversible damage to the lung tissue. If untreated, BRD can result in a quick death of the affected animal, or in stunted growth and reduced meat quality. BRD is triggered by infectious and environmental factors. Examples are a respiratory viral infection or stressful external conditions affecting the animal's immune system. Naturally occurring bacteria in the nasopharynx normally pose no problem, but the weakening of the immune system allows them to multiply excessively and the infection can spread into the lung. Here, tissue resident macrophages recognize and phagocytize the bacteria. As cells are destroyed, cytokines and other inflammation mediators are released, thereby furthering the inflammatory reaction. One of the enzymes activated in the surrounding tissue and immune system cells is cyclooxygenase, COX, resulting in the production of prostaglandins. The prostaglandins play a crucial role in the inflammation now developing at full speed in the tissue. Prostaglandins dilate local blood vessels, slow down the pace of the bloodstream, and increase the permeability of the vessel walls. In this way, fluid and cells of the immune system, such as neutrophils and monocytes, are drawn in large quantities to the site of the inflammation. At the same time, the presence of cytokines, such as IL-1 in the bloodstream, stimulates the production of prostaglandins in the brain. The hypothalamus reacts by upregulating body temperature. The immune cells, drawn to the inflammation site, now start producing even more cytokines and prostaglandins, thus intensifying the inflammation. The result is a self-propelling vicious cycle. Unchecked, the bacterial toxins are able to inflict severe damage on the tissue cells. The accumulating immune cells, such as neutrophils, release oxygen radicals in order to destroy the bacteria. But these radicals also worsen the tissue damage. But why is BRD such a common and important disease in cattle? Why exactly is the bovine lung so particularly vulnerable to bacterial infection? The reasons are both anatomical and physiological. Compared to the horse, the capacity of a cow's lung is much smaller. It is one-third that of a similar size horse. Its oxygen needs at rest are two and a half times higher. To satisfy basal oxygen demand, the bovine lung is used much more intensively. Other peculiarities of the bovine lung, such as a high degree of segmentation, a lack of collateral ventilation, and a large amount of connective tissue are reducing the lung's ability to cope with invading pathogens and the resulting inflammation. Once the lung is infected, inflammation and bacterial toxins cause lesions to develop, leading to severe and often irreversible damage to functional lung tissue. The result is the appearance of the telltale symptoms of BRD, such as breathlessness, fever, loss of appetite, and depression. The economic impact of bovine respiratory disease is enormous. The performance of the affected animals is severely reduced, as measured by carcass weight and quality at slaughter. Moreover, death can result if BRD is not diagnosed in time or remains untreated. Because of the rapid progression of the disease, treatment with antibiotics alone is insufficient. The situation calls for a drug able to cope with the speed of development of BRD. The rapidly spreading inflammation has to be kept in check as the antibiotic goes to work against the bacteria.